Hi friends, it's Auntie Cuckoo and today I'm sharing with you guys my Christmas in July DIY. So the summer is a great time to get some crafting done before the busyness of the holidays set in. This year out front I want to do a whole gingerbread Candyland theme and summer is also the perfect time to pick up pool noodles. So let me show you what you'll need for this project. First, I picked up two of each color of pool noodles from the Dollar Tree, as well as some colored duct tape. I also picked up some of this clear wrap. Now out of this one roll, you can wrap two of our giant lollipops. Then you'll need a plunger. Yes, a toilet plunger from the Dollar Tree, one for each lollipop. And I just pulled out some white paint I had on hand to go ahead and paint it to look like a candy stick. You'll also need lots of hot glue. I also figured out rubber bands came very much in handy for this project. Let's get started. The first thing I did was remove the sticker from my plunger and I left the plunger portion on as it made a handy stand for me to paint it. I went ahead and gave each plunger two coats of paint, letting them dry thoroughly in between and after. And now we'll just set it aside and get started on our pool noodles. Remove your stickers from both, then we're going to glue them end to end. I used my hot glue for this, and once I had held them in place to stick for a few minutes, I went ahead and added a layer of duct tape to secure them. Now let's go ahead and take our duct tape up to the top and get started on striping our candy. So just start at the top, winding it evenly, removing any bumps, and then it became quite easy to go ahead and tuck in the top portion Doing this on a large flat surface definitely made it more easy. I would just pull the tape out and then roll my noodle, continuing all the way to the bottom before I snipped off my tape and tucked it in. Now I found where both the duct tapes met and decided which side was going to be on the outside and which part I was going to hide inside of the roll. I did find out that doing just about two or three passes of hot glue is more than enough. It's most important to hold it in place while it dries. So for that, we're going to go ahead and pull out those rubber bands I mentioned after you've glued it together and secure it so that it can continue to dry for at least 10 or 15 minutes. Now it's time to attach our candy stick. Once your noodle has dried, it's time to remove the rubber bands and get started attaching our stick. So you can do this with either a razor blade or scissors. I just poked my scissors in twice to make an X and then go ahead and start cutting to connect those little triangles and then you can remove them. Then you're going to want to stick your scissors through to sort of puncture the next two layers and sort of carve it out. Now it's time for our hot glue. I filled it up with quite a bit before securing my stick, pushing it down through three layers and letting it dry. Now we're going to do our clear wrap. You may want to have on hand a rubber band or zip tie before you get started on this. Just measure out the amount that you like, go ahead and cut it, and then it's time to wrap it around your lollipop gathering it around the bottom before securing it with either a rubber band or ribbon. You could stop here, but I decided to pull out some white ribbon I had on hand and use it as a bow. So I'm using two zip ties, removing that rubber band and some ribbon I had on hand, just securing the first zip tie and then snipping off the bottom to create the bow turning it over and tightening the second zip tie and again snipping off the bottom. 
And that's all there is to it. I just love them. And I know if I were to go to a store and try and buy them, they would cost me so much more. They only cost me $4.50 a piece. I'm really relieved to know that I've already knocked out this DIY and they'll be waiting for me to decorate the front of our home come December. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this Christmas in July DIY. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you back very soon in the next video.